Hi everybody, welcome back. My name's Claire. I'm going to do a Dutch pour now and I'm going to base it on a colour that I've never used before. So I bought quite, well, I say quite recently, a while ago now, Amsterdam Pewter. So it's it's a bit of an odd colour. It, I, I can't really, I, I'm not really sure about this colour and it's been sitting on my shelf and I've just not ever used it. So I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it for the base and I'm going to base a colour scheme around this colour. So I've chosen some quite deep purples, um, a pinky colour, a blue, some pearl white, I'll show you in a second, to try and bring out this colour, to see what this colour can do. Um, because otherwise I think it's just going to sit on my shelf and I'm not going to use it. Um, so I'm going to have fun with the colour. So let me show you what I've chosen. These are the colours. So as I said, this is going to be the base colour. So Amsterdam Pewter. It's a semi-transparent semi colour, which uh, means that it's it's not going to be as opaque as some others. It's half a box full there. If the whole box was full, it was solid, it would be an opaque colour. If it was a totally empty box, it would be transparent. So this is a semi-transparent colour. Then three other um, Amsterdam colours. Permanent Blue Violet, Ultramarine Violet, venetian rose and then i toyed with this one i, I was going to have the color scheme like this but i just thought it just needs something so i'm going to be brave and add um, a really contrasting color here so cyan primary um opaque primary cyan and then what i always use my graduate acrylic pearl white so i've mixed all of these with flood Fluoratrol, and i will put the dis uh, the recipe in the description of this video the canvas I'm using is a 40 centimetre square canvas. Just to give you an idea of the consistency, it's just nice and runny. It pours beautifully off the stick and it doesn't leave a, a mound. It goes straight under the surface of the paint. Right, so I'm going to cover my base. So to do that, I'm just pouring some paint in the centre and then I will use the hairdryer to blow it out to get a nice even coverage. I've got push pins underneath the canvas and I've just spent some time levelling the canvas to make sure it's completely flat. <clears throat> right that's my base covered and um, it looks very much like the bronze um it's got a very um pretty uneven surface in the in the paint so it's perfectly flat but it's it almost looks quite pitted almost like the surface of the moon um quite irregular it's really quite pretty right so let's put some of these colors down um what order shall i go for Now, there's something telling me to put the very dark one on last, which I wouldn't normally do, but um, I want that to show the most because I think it would give the best contrast. Unless I do the dark. Right, changed my mind. I'm going to do the very dark and then the hint of the pink. So I'm going to do it diagonally. So I'm going to put a really thin layer of paint diagonally across the canvas. And I'm going to do wiggly lines. Actually, I'm also, I think I'm going to do some of my extra lines as well. The reason I do this is because it just gives a, a more, a denser, thicker um, area of paint, of, of pattern, which I really like. Right, I seem to be putting on quite a lot now. It's funny, I don't always intend to put on a lot, but I just, it just happens. I just get carried away and uh, before I know it, the paint's down. I guess you just have to go with what feels right at the time. 
I think if sometimes if you think about things too much, it doesn't work. You just have to literally go with the flow and just go with what feels right at the time. So those colours together are beautiful. So the lighter purple and that blue are really, really pretty. I think I might use that as a combination for something else. Right, pearl white. And actually adding the white to it is really pretty, the purple, the blue and the white. And it's so far, I'm quite happy. It's working on this pewter colour. saw the little lump go in. There we go. Just a bit of dried up paint, I think. Right, the dark purple. Wow, I'm loving this colour scheme. Now I'm tempted to not put the pink on top because these, these colours work so well together. I'm going to though. <laughs> these are beautiful, but I just, I want something brighter. Let's add this on top, see what we get. Right, that's done. All the colours are down. So I'll torch it just to get rid of the air bubbles. Although, to be honest, I can't see that many. Right, how am I going to blow this out? So if I turn it round, because I'm right-handed, I like blowing the paint in that direction. So I think I'm going to start here. Not sure what I'm going to do yet. <laughs> wow, what a colour scheme. Let's twist it round. Thank goodness I added that pink. It looks beautiful. It just brightens it up. Right, same the other side. Right, I'm happy with the blow, the, the bits that have been blown out, but the composition is terrible at the moment. This bit looks great, this bit looks awful. So I'm just now gonna spend some time. Actually, do you know what? I'm gonna do one more blow with the hairdryer. I think that might be, that might help. This bit here hasn't been blown out. I think that might be the problem. Right, but I'm now gonna spend lots of time blowing around the edges just to get the composition that I want.
what a colour scheme. Um, I, I really, really like it. The This is still quite a sort of nondescript colour, but offset against these colours, wow, I really like this colour scheme. Um, you've got some very moody dark purple in there, um, but against the, the pale pink and that blue it, and the white there, it just seems to come alive. Uh, what a gorgeous colour scheme. I'm definitely going to use this scheme again. Uh, there's definitely a part of me that thinks maybe I should have done the, this colour scheme on white, but that would have been, that defeated the object. The point was to try and use the pewter colour to try and um, emphasise the colour and make a scheme around that particular colour. Um, I've got lots of lovely irregular edges. Um, you can see the surface of the paint. Let me focus. Can you see how how it does look like the moon? It's very, very um, bumpy. It's not, it's smooth, but you've got texture within the paint. Um, when, that, when that dries, you probably won't see that. But wow, um, really interesting. I'm happy with the composition. I like this very intense band of colour with the negative space, but not too much negative space. Um, so I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry and I have my verdict on this colour scheme. Let me know what you think, but I'm loving it. Just look at this colour, how it's dried. Let me show you how iridescent it is. It is just beautiful. I still can't decide if it's gold or if it's silver. It's definitely something in between. But just look how iridescent it is. It absolutely comes alive now it's um, dried. And then, so that colour up against these other colours, I just think really, really works. Um, this section, it's really interesting because there's not that many cells. You've got a few. There doesn't have to be cells. It's totally fine. But I'm surprised because often if you use an, um, a metallic base, you get a lot of interaction and a lot of cells popping up. A lot of, I would have thought, the pewter cells popping up. But there really isn't any. I'm loving my all my irregular um, edges here. I'm really happy with that. And I just love the blend of these colours, purple, pink and blue. You just cannot go wrong with that colour combination. Um, so overall, I've now decided I'm really happy with this colour. I'm not quite sure when I will use it again or in what um, sort of painting or what other scheme, but I just can't get over that, that shimmer. It's just so metallic. It's just, yeah, it's so, so pretty. Um, so let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave me comments. Um, please ask questions. Just leave any, anything you want to. Um, and if you haven't already done so, please do subscribe to my channel. Great. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.